Hey everybody, welcome back into the UIS Coaches Show. Larry Larson alongside Matt Brock, men's basketball head coach. Coach, we're here after a, a big win over Quincy, a blowout win in a game that I think a lot of people thought was going to be close. What was the big difference? Well, I thought it was going to be close too. You know, <laughs> I, they, they've been playing really well, uh, just beat Lewis in Indianapolis um, Saturday and Monday. So, uh, you know, it was just one of those nights we, we did a really good job defensively. I think we set the tone. Um, defensively, they, they had 27 at the half, and then um, just kept it going after the half and, and got, got loose and, and were, were able to hit a couple threes um, and uh, kind of spread it out a little bit. You know, you mentioned that defense. It's really easy to look at the offense, especially tonight. A lot of loud plays, but there are three guys who averaged double figures were all held to four points each. Uh, what was the key to stopping them? You know, I... Uh, I think our guys kind of look at the challenge, um, and, and we're definitely a team defense. But I think the the individual battle in between, um, they, they do a coach Coach Herm Senor did a great job preparing our guys with the scout, um, and uh, our guys really study and and look at tendencies and, and really try to, to take away guys first um, first option so and put them into into what they don't really want to do. So um, our guys are you know high basketball IQ and and kind of take that individual challenge um, and and really. It bothers them when they get scored on. Michael Wright had a big game tonight. Uh, I think he missed one field goal, had that nice uh, and one three-pointer. Uh, you know, seeing him get going and really kind of settle into the program, I mean, what adjustments has he made throughout the early part of the season? You know, I think he's kind of finding his role, and, you know, he can really, really shoot it. Um, he's a calming influence. You know, he's, he's been around. Uh, he's been in big games. Uh, he played on a team that went to the national tournament. Um, so, he knows what it takes, and, and he's, he's helping our, our younger guys along with that. But, uh, you know, he can he can stretch the floor and, and make space for Jack and, and Isaiah in there and Jordan to drive. So, and, uh, you know, I, it didn't surprise me the, the type of looks that he got tonight that they go in. I'm kind of more surprised that they don't. So you mentioned Jack Weber. I, you know, he's kind of had a slow two-game stretch here in the scoring department, but he's impacted the game in so many other ways. You know, how do you get him going again, knowing that he's probably going to be double-teamed every game? Well, you know, the guys can hit threes like that, spread the floor, you know, and he's willing to, he's a willing passer and a great teammate. He, he doesn't really care if he scores. He wants to win. He's about winning. And, um, you know, he's improving defensively. But um, the biggest thing for him this year, he's got more space to operate and he's got more guys to, to choose from kicking it out. So, uh, you know, the shooting that we've, we've added and the spacing on the floor um, has really helped him. But it's kind of like a catch-22. You know, are you going to try to double team him because he's pretty good one-on-one? -on -one? Or are you going to live with some open three or play one-on-one -on, -one on him or, or are you going to give some guys some open looks? And so um, I, right now um, I like I like what we're doing on both both ways. Kind of got to pick your poison, right? And a lot of different weapons on the offense that are humming right now. Uh, you guys are 7-1 and one now, 2-0 and oh in conference play. Obviously this is just the start. But if you had to pick one thing, what's been the key to this hot start? You know, I think it's our just – our team cohesion, you know, I, I think it's such a fleeting thing and it's such, it, it, you know, it, you know it when you have it and you know it when you don't, but it's just like you can't quite always get it um, like you want it. And this team uh, is just fitting together really well and they like each other um, and, they, and they work hard and they, they cheer for each other. And, um, you know, so I think that's, that's the big thing. These guys are just some high character guys that, that work really hard and want to be really good. And so we're just going to take it one game at a time. Um, in this league, you can't really look past what's in front of you because everybody's really good, everybody's really well coached, and everybody's really super physical and, and tough. So um, we'll, we'll regroup tonight um, and, and get ready for Truman tomorrow. Should be a fun one with Truman on Saturday. But first, I want to take a step back. You mentioned you know, cheering for everybody. In a game like this, blowout win, you get the deep guys off the bench. Uh, Yamani Sharif, he cracks me up every time he comes into the game. He does something big. He hits, hits threes. You know, how much fun is it uh, for everybody when guys like that come in and, and make some big shots? Well, our, our guys, and we, the blue team, you know, the blue team, the guys that are, are coming off the bench um, every day in practice are playing really well. And that may, that's why you have good a good team because you have great competition every day in practice. And those guys will give it to the goal team. Um, and he'll tell them about it a little bit sometimes <laughs> yeah. too. But, but Yamani is a guy that's been in our program for four years. Um, just a tremendous person. Has worked extremely hard and um, is, is can really shoot the ball. Um, and we're looking for him to, to bring a calming influence 
um, to the game and uh, get out there and defend. Um, he's, he's really athletic. You know, you saw the block tonight. But, um, you know, our guys are cheering for each other. Like uh, like I said, it's, it's fun to look down the bench because everybody's cheering for everybody. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and it's almost like they get more excited for each other than themselves. And that's what you want in this true team environment. You know, now jumping ahead, Truman State. One key to the game, what's it going to take? I know they played a really tough schedule, really good competition, but I feel like you guys are battle-tested as well. Yeah, no, uh, Elijah Hayes Camp, um, they're, they're four-man, really good player, you know, an all-league type player. Uh, I think it was all-league last year, uh, but the, they've been through it, you know, Hunter straight. Um, those guys have played in some, some national tournaments. They've played in, in the Elite Eight. Um, so they're, they're kind of, they've been to places where we'd like to go. Um, so we're going to have to be, be ready. And, and Trey Shear um, is a good point guard. So we're going to have to do a good job of guarding their stuff. They're very um, – they can really X and O you. Jeff's a terrific coach, and they're a really smart team, so they can counter you and, and set you. So um, we'll have – Coach Sodom has been working on them all week, so we'll be um, kind of really crash coursing them tomorrow with our guys and, and trying to get ready, uh, you know, Friday practice and Saturday's practice uh, for Saturday afternoon. But um, – I think the, the biggest key will be if we make it a game where we can play around the rim um, or if it's going to be more of a perimeter game where they're, they're, they're not as inside oriented as they've been in the last couple of years. They've lost three, they lost three guys that are now in the Missouri Valley, uh, playing in the Missouri Valley. So um, they're a different type of team, but they're still a really good team and um, they're going to come in here um, trying to get a win. Quick turnaround, Coach. Appreciate your time. We'll let you go and uh, get ready for Truman. Thanks, Larry.